Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to chapter 8.4.6 Easy Path for Completion. This is the final one with Glyphan as the boss. So the defenders are going to be Red Guardian, Guillotine OG with Captain Marvel movie version and Mr. Negative, Ebony Maw and Scorpion. Now the nodes here are going to be Power Shield 2.0, Cruel to be Kind, Phoenix Rising, Rubber Band, Heal block and aggressive. Now this is all about bringing champions that can do a lot of uh, big special attack damage. So quite a few options I've given there. My my personal favorite ones are going to be mutant champions. That will also translate to the boss. So your storms, your domino, your uh, sunspot, your bishops. Bishop is actually a cheese option for this path. He can. Uh, keep the power with him and if you go up to 40 prowesses and throw an sp2 he can do kills in uh, one hit only in one sp2 the boost and the masteries they'll remain the same and for the boss island we just have glycon i've given you a few mutant and non-mutant options that you can use ranging from emma frost to both of the storms to hulk to doom and jubilee as well so let's jump into the path and discuss the path in detail The first fight is going to be against a red guardian. I'm going to use a bishop here and I am boosted for this path just because I want to get through this path faster. So all in all what you need to know that you have to build up to your desired special for my case is going to be an sp2 and you will notice that I'm getting power stings whenever my opponent is getting a bar of power. So you have to collect those power stings and once you add your sp2 you have to use a striker. Now the striker will convert all of those power stings into cruelties and after that you can throw your special and that will do some huge damage. I am just waiting bishop to get a little more prowesses and just in one go look at that. And bishops take out red guardian in one sp2. You can do the same for all the fights in this, uh, in this path but I am using different champions just to showcase what other champions you can bring in but you can totally cheese it with bishop now the second fight is going to be against a guillotine i am using a joe fix it so if you're if you know about joe fix it what i try to do is to end my attacks into medium so i can get all of those spades and when i do an sp2 damage with increased uh, uh, attack rating <coughs> i can finish it off uh, this fight in one sp2 now I've done this fight in 1sp2 as well but I think this time around it took me 2 or 3 but just right here I have 4 stings on me I'm gonna go in I'm gonna use a striker convert the stings into cruelty into an sp2 and boom there we go that did not crit if that crit that would have been it and the guillotine 2019 uh, guillotine would have died so you can use many different champions as you want um, that have big special damage so bishop is one of them that you can use I'm using Joe Fixit because he has class advantage and his SP2 is quite huge damage. Some other options are also mentioned on the screen so you don't have to follow the champs I've given in. If you think there's a champion that is faster you can bring them in. For example you can bring Ghost, you can bring Kitty, they also do some great damage. So my choice for this fight was uh, Joe Fixit. So yeah just a quick takedown. I'm waiting for her to throw a heavy attack. There we go back in using a striker convert to cruelty into sp2 there is some good damage unluckily that did not crit again if that would have crit that would have been the end of the fight but that's okay i have an sp1 ready again going for the sp2 baiting out the sp1 and here we go there's a striker into another sp2 and she is dead The defenders are not that crazy but you have to bring in the right counters for example captain marvel is going to be an annoying defender no, no matter what so you have to bring in a mystic champion that has some uh, mystic champion that has huge special damage so for me i've brought in absorbing man and i've activated his magma form to absorb the energy damage so i'm gonna slowly build up to an sp2 chain in a striker with that 
once I have enough of those power things. So just right here I have three of them, use the strike gun, convert them to fury, heavy into special attack and look at the damage. Yeah, and I'll rinse and repeat that and that should be enough. 2 SP2 should be enough to take out Captain Marvel with the Mystic Champion. The only problem here would be Captain Marvel might be a little stingy when it comes to throwing specials. But once you start bait <coughs> baiting out and she gets into a rhythm, she becomes very trigger happy. So here we are again. We got 3 stings. Striker, converted to cruelty, into heavy, into a special 2. There we go, just 2 special 2's and we have brought down Captain Marvel. So make sure you bring a Mystic Champion for that. Moving on to the next one, it's going to be Mr. Negative. Um, again, the fight pattern is similar, that you hit Mr. Negative and you build up your, uh, you build up your sp2 and with those power stings convert them into cruelty with a striker with a big special attack at the angle end of it but the problem here is uh, if you're going to parry mr negative he is going to invert your controls and that's not really uh, <coughs> very easy not really a very easy uh, task to play around so um, what I like to do, I like to bring somebody like Hulkling who can go unblockable so I don't have to worry about uh, how to find an opening to hit him. Otherwise, you can also just block, let him throw a heavy and you can retaliate after. So just building up to an SP2 <coughs> here, I've still not parried Mr. Negative. There we go, use the striker. Now I'm gonna hit in the block. I'm gonna wait out him to throw an SP1. Now I'm gonna go hit into the block, 5 hits into an SP2. If one of them crits, this is, he is dead, but none of them unfortunately, but we did some good damage. So that's how this fight works. You can use any champion of your choice. With Mr. Negative, do not parry him. Just block him until he throws a heavy attack and you retaliate, so you will avoid the dark energy and you will avoid the reverse controls. And that should be a quick, easy fight with the right champion. Now the second to last fight is going to be an Ebony Maw. Now he's going to be an annoying one. You have to bring in a good sized champion. So you don't have to worry about uh, uh, much about Dejin. So um, I'm still using Joe Fixit because Joe Fixit is amazing with his big SP2. What I need to do is to keep Ebony Maw to SP1 only while I build my SP2 myself. Every now and then I will throw a heavy attack when I land the parry. I just have to make sure that I don't get caught in the miss with Falter. So uh, I throw in my heavy attack so I can uh, remove him from his focus. So the Falter charges are not uh, are just paused for a second. So here we go again. Just saw a big SP2. So again, I'm waiting for Ebony Maw to throw an SP1. Here we go. Moving back in. Just using medium, medium so I can get the all of those uh, spades up so I can get... <coughs> extra damage now i am at 20 falter charges so i'm gonna wait it out and now i have to use a striker to gain all of those uh, cruelties now he's not letting me parry him so there's another falter i have to wait it out there we go into an sp2 boom there is the damage so just like that you can play around it I would suggest you to throw a heavy attack in between so you can remove us from his focus but I'm using Joe fix it so I'm trying to keep all of one suit so that's why I am not able to parry your heavy much but then every now and then I will throw it out to make sure that I am uh, removing him from his focus and I don't have to deal with falter all the time into a striker with an sp2 and there goes Ebony Mahi's dead And the final one is going to be a scorpion. Uh, not a difficult fight, just the same mechanics like the whole fight. We already know scorpion's kit. Just try to bring a champion that has big specials and is also poison immune. Just to avoid that power sting and everything and the poisons. Um, some good options are going to be hulkling. You can also use the OG hulk. That works too. Um, 
plenty of poison immune options that can work that will just make your job a tad bit easier. I'm just using a Hulkling here and just building up an SP2. After that hitting in the block for 5 hits unblockable into an SP2 for that extra damage with the Fury. And before I do that I use out my Striker to uh, convert all of those power stings right there into Cruelty. And just wait him for him to throw a special attack. There we go. Now there is he is blocking. 5 hit combo into an SP2. Look at that huge damage. He's almost down. So that is for the path. I will catch you on phase 1 of Glyphon. So starting off with phase 1, I am going to use my Ascended Emma Frost for this fight. Now if you're looking for a complete breakdown, check out my other guide in which I've explained all of his ability. This is more of a walkthrough. You can also check out Sims guide that is amazing. So whenever I start this fight, I always look for punishment of stupor and banality first. So I get all 3 charges of them. So if you notice, three, the, I have 6 charges from there and I also have 6 prowesses. Once that's down, I'm going to bait the heavy and I'm going to retaliate and let him throw special attacks. Here we go. Now I've, there is a striker. That is going to be my first SP2 with 7 prowess. Look at that damage. 132. So let me repeat what I did in the beginning. I hit in the block 3 times to get 3 punishments of banality. Then I parried him 3 times to get 3 punishments of stupor. Once I had that, I held my block to let Glyphon throw a heavy attack. Once he did, I retaliated and punished it and give him an SP1. Once he threw an SP1, I punished that into a striker, into an SP2, and he's down to 78%. And from here onwards, you have enough uh, you have enough punishments active on Glyhan that he will gain a bar of power whenever you will attack him with the 5 hit combo. So from here onwards, it's all about, okay, let him throw a special, and I can go back and punish it. So here's a special attack, Dex going back in, and there we go, 5 wood combo. I'm keeping an eye, I'm not trying to use my striker because my punishment of TDM is already at 3 stacks which is at max. So I'm trying to avoid it. So I just apply 1 punishment of banality extra and right now I am at 14 prowess. There we go, going back in. I'm just keeping the striker, not using it because I don't want to get give him the evade charge. Now he's finally relinquished one of the punishment of banality so I can go back in and hit in his uh, block. So you just have to keep an eye on Glyphan whenever he throws a special which punishment he has relinquished and you can apply that again. If you get that timing and the SP1 timing down you are good to go in phase 1 and phase 2. So it becomes a very smooth fight. So here again throws a SP1 dex dex dex. When go back in again dex 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 that is the cadence you have to follow and uh, once or twice the third time you will learn how to do it and once you learn sp1 this fight becomes significantly easier glyphan is all about how to evade his specials if you get that down the fight is um, the phase one and phase two become much easier and you really start enjoying the fight now the only thing here that I'm not using my striker is because it's already at 3 max charges and if I do that, that is going to give him a charge of, uh, that was going to give him a counter charge with evade and that's going to be a problem for me. So I'm going to do this phase without using a striker unless I absolutely need it if he starts hitting me. So again, I am at 20 pr uh, prowesses plus my own 5 prowesses, the special attack damage is just crazy. Emma Frost is a great option for Glyphan. And here we go back in again, he is down to 6%, I'm gonna wait for him to throw an SP2. Remember every time he will throw an SP2, he is going to relinquish one of uh, the punishments applied, so it gives you a space to apply it again. 
and here we go i think this is where we get him down to one percent with the final sp2 dexing the sp1 and boom there we go phase number one is down now end of phase number one he's going to shed his armor and after that he's going to come back in with full health and with renewed vigor now we'll do the same we'll go hit and block that's one that's two and that's three now we have punishment and banality full now i'm going for the parries now i have three parries now i'm gonna block let him throw a heavy attack there we go and i'm gonna punish the heavy attack and go into a striker and try to give into an sp1 but hey the sp1 is grayed out so the, in this phase he is only going to uh, use two bars of power but even at two bars of power the special one or two would be random so you have to wait out and on trigger there's going to be two buffs either unblockable or unstoppable if he goes unblockable that is going to be an sp2 if he goes unstoppable that is going to be an sp1 and uh, he will gain power very quickly to an sp2 over and over again so you don't have to worry about if you have to push him to special so you can punish him his specials are going to fill up really fast one thing i would suggest for this uh, path uh, for this uh, phase is if you have to throw a special wait for him to throw a special first and then by the time he is filling up his uh, by the time he's filling up his uh, power you can throw a special in between before he gets to two bars of power right here there's an evade charge and i'm trying to uh, counterplay it there is my special attack just i threw it without any damaging combos because i had to counterplay the counter charge so you can use a striker or a special attack to counterplay it so here we go again i have to build up those uh, I have to build up my sp2 again but that counter place was, was worth it because if i went in with the counter charge and glycon he would have uh, evaded and punished me and all of my prowesses will, would have been removed i'd rather keep the prowesses and uh, you do that sacrifice so this is what the fight is all about keeping your prowesses with the big special attack damage so right here two bars of power i'm gonna throw an sp2 I'm gonna go back in, striker, 14 prowess, and a huge SP2, 92 and 210, look at that damage. Just be very careful in this phase that you don't give him an SP3. That can happen because if you delay your SP2 and he already has two bars of power and you do one combo, and after that you throw your special, that is going to push him to SP3. So you need to keep an eye on that. So here we go. Now I'm going to hold the striker because the charges are already three. I'm going to wait for Glycon to throw his special attack. We're going to look at the trigger if it's unstoppable or is it unblockable. If it's unblockable, that is going to be an SP2. This gives me an opening. As soon as I get two bars of power, I throw it. And there is still enough... Uh, uh, there is still enough difference between two bars and three bars of power for Glycon, so he will not go to an SP3. Rinse and repeat that, he is down to 22%. Now at that point in this fight, I thought, you know what, maybe I can do a third phase with another champion. So there is an unstoppable trigger that was an SP1. So you have to just keep an eye on that on the phase two. And very similar to phase one, uh, once you take down Glycon to one person health, he is going to shed his armor and phase 3 starts. So right here I'm waiting for him to throw a special. So I can finish off this phase. I have enough prowesses to finish off in one go. Throw an SP1. Go back in. Big SP2. And boom. Down to 1%. Shedding his armor. And here we start phase 3. Now there are quite a few things in happening in phase 3. In phase 3 all the punishments are at max so you have to apply the punishments to remove them. Now I am going to start with hitting in the block but remember that I cannot do the parry because there is punishment of frustration that is already at maximum uh, charges. So that's why the stun duration for each charge is, uh, is reduced by 90%. That's why if I use a striker the opening is failing. If I'm trying to parry that is not working. So you have to remove those first. If you want to do two intercepts in a row, that will help. If not, I usually don't do it. I just try to concentrate 
on getting the other ones done naturally through special attacks and through strikers so right here i am at only eight percent so i'm only focusing on evading remember whenever he will throw an sp1 he is going to sp any special attack he is going to relinquish one any one punishment anyway so it will help you bring those punishments down and gain more prowess but again you need to learn how to dex the specials you will notice how many times they dex the sp1 in this fight and that helps comes in clutch so again when Glycon is going to be close to you, you're going to be rooted. So the rooted dexing is like half a second slower. If you can learn that, that is going really going to help you and save you a lot of revives. So I'm going to wait again in SP2. The SP1, there we go. Dex, dex, and dex. If you have practiced enough for phase 1 and phase 2, this should be a bit easier for you. Now, once your punishments are down to zero, even if you try, uh, even if you do the action again, there is not going to be any counter charge. So there is no counter charge in phase three. You don't need to worry about that. So we are at touch and go. I am at three percent. Glycon is at fifty six percent. Throws an SP two. Luckily, I did not get rooted there. Otherwise, that would have been a definite that because root and to dex SP two is a bit annoying to deal with. So. Here we go again, dex, dex, into dex, and I'm going back in to get a damaging combo in. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and survive, keep pushing him to an SP1 so he keeps giving me openings because I cannot get a heavy attack opening right now because if I get the heavy attack opening, that's going to be trouble for me. So striker opening failed again. So I have to hit him in the block, give him an SP1. Now he's going to throw that out. I'm just dingling at 2%. Again, an evade. Now a big special to here. That should bring him down to 18%. 358,000 special at 20 prowesses. You just can't go wrong with Emma Frost. Striker opening failed again. It's all on the punishment of frustration. I am not trying to intercept, so I'm good. One person health. Going to throw another one. And here we go again. I almost soloed and one person held, but I think I died in very in, at the end. I had to bring out Bishop to bring Glaikhan down. But this was a really cool run where I was so close to killing off Glaikhan. So I think there is another special attack one here that he's gonna throw. And I miss one of the hits and I just kept gets me and I just die here. So this is the last successful evade. And I was hoping here, okay, I can evade one more. I was so ready, but then I missed it. There we go. <laughs> I just missed it for a second. Otherwise, this would have been a solo because I already had almost an SP2 ready. But anyway, we went back in with Bishop. And uh, on phase three, all I needed to do with build up was some of those uh, prowesses. Let him throw a heavy attack here. Messed up the first timing. Second timing was better into an SP2. And there he goes down to 1%. Now in one person he endures and he goes he goes indestructible, so you have to wait it out for 16 seconds and then you can do another damaging combo to kill him off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!